The innovative university is about developing new ways of working, bringing people from different disciplines together so that they can collaborate. So in that context, the, the physical campus actually is incredibly important and it's very important that as designers we get that right. They very much wanted it to be a building that people can enter, interact and engage with the researchers. The approach we took with the Hayden Ellis building was really to see it as the gateway into the innovation campus. We achieved that by having a strategy of splitting the building into two. By doing that, we were then able to create these interconnecting bridges. So when you enter the building, people can see a lot of activity taking place within the building, which we felt was very important. People accessing the site could see events taking place and therefore be drawn into the building. They refer to it as their new front door. The purpose of the innovation campus is to embody an innovation system. The coming together of disciplines, the coming together of people who share a problem and the recognition that modern problem solving, problem solving in the real world requires teams of people with different talents and outlooks. What we want here is for people who do completely different things but on the same disorders and same illnesses uh, to talk to each other and, and to spark ideas off each other. There are rooms um, around the building where you can have meeting seminar rooms, uh, meeting rooms small, big. In the researchers room there's a little space with sofas and chairs where you can sit around, you can talk. Whatever you need there is a space to do that. I think oh, I'm a lucky boy really to be working somewhere like this. Three years ago we were able to sit round a table with the architects and with a blank sheet of paper essentially and design what we would want in an imaging centre. And that's a once in a lifetime opportunity, that's not something that happens uh, very often at all. Although the buildings are separated by external space, the researchers working in Kubrick and the researchers working in Hayden Ellis work collaboratively, so work that they're doing within is linked and we felt that the buildings should connect in that way as well visually. We wanted to have four MRI scanners, MEG, EEG and the Brain Stimulation Laboratories. We wanted them all to be co-located in the same facility. Kubrick is very much focused on the participant coming into the building. We are acutely aware of the benefits of views into natural environments. So we really use that knowledge in the development of the designs for the Kubrick building. Our ultimate aim is really to do good and it's to find a deeper understanding that's going to lead to new treatments or earlier access to treatments and to really help people with a whole range of debilitating diseases. The recipe to really making things work is to bring people together and give them space to interact with each other. What's really inspiring for me is that there are places within which researchers, participants in research and others can come in and solve those big problems and if we see those discoveries as I'm sure we will coming out of the facilities in the coming years then that will be what is a true legacy for the design of these buildings. It's a very exciting time for us. We see these steps that we're taking will increase the scale of what we do, will increase the possibilities that we have for addressing some of the key issues of our time, cancer, mental health, and to make a difference.